Uh, talk was really excellent this morning, uh, all about uh, focus and um, you know getting getting the product right before you start to scale up and stuff. And as wrong, true, very true with us because um, we're just uh, redesigning our product as we come out of beta uh, next month. So it's a really for us is about getting the product right, and he really hit, hit it on the hit it on the head with that. So once we get the product right, we'll then we'll then look to really scale up as soon as possible. Um, well, my business is about focus, and where we are now, um, it's really, really crucial about picking a route and sticking with it, um, because where we are now, we're about to launch our first product, and we want to really prove that there's a product market fit in this traction. So it's can, he, hit, he hit a very relevant point for us, because it can be easy to get distracted when other people are coming in, because our product is quite disruptive. and where we're going with our product has actually a broad variety of applications but we're, we have brought it down to a very specific niche of we're catering for an ADHD market and the product that we're first launching is for that so it's almost kind of putting blinkers on and resisting talking to the other customers and just focusing on a niche group of customers to really prove traction with before we go any further. I think for, for Oversee, um, really understanding where our focus is who is our target market and how are we going to get there? So it's, it's really focusing on not being all things to all people, but understanding what is it that we do really, really well and sticking with that with the people that are best going to get the most value from it. Sean, I think Sean made a really good point today about being focused. Um, he made a great example about his um, business, Avego, which is now Karma, that actually we branched into three separate businesses because their initial scope was way too big. So I think focus is something I take on board to today from, from, from his speech and apply to our business. We definitely most certainly need to focus on the market that we are targeting initially. From then we can obviously move to other markets, but we need to focus on our product first too. For, for, for us as a business, you know, hearing from somebody who's done it before and done it at scale and size is, is hugely beneficial. You know, it's, it's a real war story that somebody else has done and they can give you some real practical examples of, what, of how they achieve that. So the whole idea of those first 100 customers and how you scale both your business and your team at the same time and how you do that within the available resources is, is, is hugely beneficial to us. Okay, the program is great because we have a chance to work really hard on what we want to do. We, we met a lot of interesting people, we got a lot of devices and we are happy with it and we are keep doing this way. It's been fantastic, it's been a, a whole lot better than I thought it was going to be, a lot more challenging than I thought it was going to be. Um, so the, the support that Bank of Ireland have set up for us here with all the mentors who come in talking to us every day and every week has been really fantastic. And it's helped us to, as Sean was saying this morning, it's really helped us to focus on what we need to get done uh, over the next few weeks and before we get to get to the end of the program. So we've taken a lot away from it. We've, we've pivoted on the ideas of how we're moving forward a couple of times. And now I think we, you know, we have a, a good plan and a, and a good focus and a good strategy to, to really make the best out of the accelerator and hopefully help us get to the next level once it's, once it's finished. Well, I've expected, it's, it's quite intense, there's a lot of work, but uh, the mentoring and the hands-on approach of the people that I've worked with here so far has been very positive. And I suppose you're always coming out every day learning some valid point or a snippet of, you can write something down and kind of go, well, actually, yeah, that's a valid point. That's something that I'm going to kind of keep on my, not to-do list, but keep on a, like, uh, I suppose, in how you line up your mission or your ethos or how you're kind of going, well, I, I need to bear that in mind. So there's a lot of, um, I suppose, there's a learning curve there on, you know, being the boss and really kind of, it's coming back again to what Sean was talking about this morning, the confidence and the focus to drive ahead with the decision that you've made and just really, we have a very, very clear agenda on what we want to get done here in the eight or 10 weeks. And it's just, again, I keep on coming back, reining it in and just focus, focus, focus. And even like what he was saying is putting the other things out of the way, the emails that are coming in that aren't relevant and just keeping the focus on what your final, like what your goals are for the next eight or 10 weeks. Okay. So we've that very, we really, the, I suppose the, the, this accelerator program has allowed us to refine that and has allowed us to kind of put on your <laughs> headphones and blink out all the other possible noise and really just focus on getting that product launched. Well, um, 
there's obviously the financial side of it and kind of a bit of insight into how I would have never seen a bank as an innovator in enterprise and startups. So it's nice to see actually that the dynamics in the bank are changing and they're asking us for our feedback because they have a long way to go by their own admission to really start catering hands on for the smaller startups. And it's great to see that they're actually um, coming in line and actually listening to what the startups need and want and catering for that. So it'd be great to see that. Um, the other side of it as well is with the programme as well, um, I, have, I have won some awards or I was at the Women's in Tech Paris and it was really nice that there was a lot of the, it's nice to get Bank of Ireland involved in promoting the company as well. So there was a few extra articles that were there that have um, showcased Cortex um, in, in a very positive light and just basically raised the profile or they've, they've basically allowed us to piggyback on them to raise the profile in certain areas of where our expertise is and really showcase it. Brilliant. Um, being on this program, I've been on uh, several things that, that are similar, um, but there's nothing similar to what I've seen here. This is so much more focused on the real world, on getting out there and doing it and not talking about it. And that, that's kind of different from everything else I've, uh, I've done before. Everything else has always been theoretical, whereas this is really practical. If you want to start a business, then you can't do that without a customer, and that's driven home here. So this accelerator program actually does what it says on the label. It does accelerate us on a week-to-week basis, even on a day-to-day basis. We are being challenged by the mentors, advisors who have the business experience and they go up, they advise us and they ask all the right questions that we previously wouldn't even have thought of. We found it very, very beneficial from the point of view that we looked at a number of different programs before coming on this one. We found that this one is very focused on the specifics of what we want to get out of it. And that is, you know, identify what our message is, or as Sean said, our true north. And from there, being able to build off that message to actually address that straight out to businesses and the opportunity around it. So today, you know, five weeks in, we found benefits out of every single week. And if we walk away from one thing from each one of those weeks, we've done a good job. So uh, initially coming into the programme we were all about just getting investment but it quickly became apparent that uh, from talking to all of the, the guys who've been on last year's one and, and our mentors here that we need to put that out of our mind and focus on the product and getting the product right. So uh, we, we're doing that now and as I said we're coming out of beta next month and for the remaining uh, eight weeks or whatever, uh, seven or eight weeks that we have on the course uh, on the program that we want to uh, develop the idea more and, and develop the other uh, side of uh, Resumo, which is Resumo HR, which will help companies connect with, uh, with all the people who put, uh, put their CVs on Resumo. So uh, over the next few weeks, we really want to, everything to come together. And by the time we exit the, the, the program, we want to, uh, to be in a, a good, strong position to, to scale the business. Um. So we're quite involved in, we're doing, creating new, well not new, we're, we're reiterating old business plans, we're after changing, it's, I suppose you could call it a pivot, we're the, the type of market, we've, I, I keep on coming back to the term focus, but we've really, um, we've honed in on a specific market and we want to get a product out, test it with them and see what the traction is there. So we're focused on getting sales and revenue, we need to kind of prove our worth for getting traction in the specific market that we've picked now and see what it works. And I think we're working with the program to get that to the next level so that we can go, hey, check it out, this is our product, we want to expand our prop, um, product offering, we're the investors. So that's where we see the springboard for what we're doing with the company and by the end of it, getting us ready for demo day, investor readiness, everything. So, I think the, the, for, the, for the next stage of this program for, for, for us um, is really now consolidating everything that we've learned and putting that in part of our in, our in our plans to move forward. So we now fully understand what we are, what we're good at and where we're going. And now it's really about condensing what skills do we need to get there. So what, are, what, what resources are there that are missing within our team right now or skill sets and how we're going to address that to actually achieve the end goal that we now know which, uh, which has been defined. It's week five and the first week, the first four weeks allowed us to really focus on the things that we're weak on and start working on those. We established that we, we um, okay, so the first, the, fir <laughs> the first four weeks allowed us to really um, identify our weaknesses and work on those. 
and really work on the focus of our product. So now for the remainder of the prog program, we, we are looking to really nail our product and bring it to our customers. This week we're starting sales and testing in the office here um, the meals. So the guys here are, are, are going to um, get some free, free food tasting, uh, which is a great opportunity for us to get feedback on the food, if it's good enough, if the portion sizes are, are enough, and then we're gonna hit the bigger market, hopefully within the next three weeks. Okay. The, 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 next, uh, you know, the next number of weeks for us is, is, is mad. It's absolutely mad in terms of the opportunities that we have and the opportunities that we have to actually achieve a lot of visibility out there in the marketplace. So for us, it's about maintaining a focus and doing all that towards that end focus of you know being out there, delivering a scalable business and being able to attract the type of investors that we want to come on board.